a large open world with a lot of regions and variety of landscapes. You want it and it looks like Shadow of War has brought it. We've seen six kind of confirmed different regions in Shadow of War and we'll showcase them to you in this video. The regions we'll take a look at are Osgiliath, Minas Ithil or Miss Morgo, Kidrit Ungol, Gorgoroth, Nurnen and Saragost. We haven't seen any footage of Osgiliath though, except for the quick regions overview from the first gameplay trailer. So we haven't got any gameplay to show of Osgiliath. And since we haven't seen anything about it, we'll cover it shortly, so we're not wasting your time. Osgiliath, meaning the city of the stars, is the ancient capital of the kingdom of Gondor. It has fallen into ruin since its assault by the forces of the Witch King. Though we're not sure if this will be actual part of the game, Monolith's director, Michael the Platter, mentioned that we will be able to set foot in Gondor. In the gameplay trailer, it actually looks like it's part of the Minas Morgul region. And that's our next stop. Moving on to the next region, which is Minas Ithil, which transforms later into Minas Morgul, the Tower of Dark Sorcery. It was once a fortress of Gondor, as can be seen by the Romanesque design. In the game, we will see both sides, with it being both under control of Gondor and under control of the Witch King, which is pretty exciting. As demonstrated in another gameplay trailer, you'll start off by defending the city against the Witch King's forces early on in the story, but eventually you will fail and the city will be in the hands of the Witch King. The region itself looks beautiful, with it being mostly a green landscape with pine trees and huge light grey uh, rock faces and waterfalls. Most of you have probably seen the next region too, since they dedicated an entire livestream to it, Kirit Ungol. It's a fortress near the region of Minas Morgul, it's high up in the mountains with clouds and high mountain peaks surrounding it. The area is mostly covered in giant brown rock faces which look amazing by the way. The area consists of a huge open area near a cliff and on the other side of the cliff is the fortress, Kirit Ungol, and on the other side there's actually a cave. We'll get into that in a second. The fortress itself is actually an ancient Numenorean structure and once again it's multi-layered similar to Minas Ithil or Minas Morgul and it's leading up to this huge tower. On the other side of the cliff as we said there are huge caves with goblin like wooden bridges and boiling pools of toxic mud and gases. Overall it looks like a very cool region it's mostly brown like we said and very rocky. Moving over from Kirit Ungol to Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth is the most recently shown region. The volcano-y and ashy landscape is really the heart of Mordor. This is mostly where Sauron stays. It houses all kinds of cool structures and landmarks like Mount Doom, Barad-dûr, the Tower of Sauron of course, and Karag Angren. The grey landscape is alternated with boiling pools of lava and lava falls. The creatures there aren't the nicest either, besides the regular ones you will encounter fire grouts and of course the legendary Balrog of Targoroth. It's really a nice change of scenery as opposed to the greener landscape of Nurnen, plus it really resembles the yeah, Mordor, like we said, it's the heart of Mordor. Second to last is Nurnen, the lush and green area near the Sea of Nurnen. The beautiful green landscape mainly consists of cliffs and forests and open green plains next to the camps, settlements and fortresses, of course. This is where the spirit of Karnan lives, in the forest of Karnan. We don't have too much to add to this since you've already seen this. And now for the final region that we've been shown, we're taking a look at Saragost. Saragost is the white and snowy region east of Gorgoroth and north of Nurnen. It's the region we've seen in the first gameplay trailer, but also we have some other clips from IGN. There's not too much to add since we haven't really been showcased the entire region except for the fact that it's a wintry biome which is another different setting which is pretty cool. Uh, with the ice and snowy landscape comes another type of Grauk too, the icy Grauk. And that's actually all we know for now. Of course there are more regions like we said there are more to the south near Nurnen on the other side of the Sea of Nurnen and also to the east there is uh, a region called Litlet. 
in time we'll see the new regions. Whether that's the case or not, we think that Monolith really improved upon the variety of the landscape. We want you to know what you guys think about the regions we've seen so far. Do you like them? What regions would you like to see on top of these? Anyways, thank you for watching. As always, it's really appreciated. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. If you have any questions or you want to share your ideas or you want to start a discussion, not about microtransactions though, uh, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you. Once again, thank you for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next video.